Well, it's so good to be in the house of the Lord and be able to sing the songs of Zion and reach out and touch our God and have him touch us and and Sister Lawanda to see the Lord come in and comfort and strengthen and he heals us. He heals the brokenhearted and set the captive free. What a mighty God we serve. He, when it comes to men, we love one another. We do our best with each other, trying to help comfort and strengthen. But as the scripture says, put not your trust in princes. Uh, and it doesn't say bad princes, good princes. It just says princes. You know, I've, I've, you put your trust in man, and man can fail. And if he doesn't fail, he's going to die at some point. I've seen people so discouraged when uh, a prince in Israel would die that they'd want to want to give up. But there's no giving up. We put our we can have confidence in men, but we have trust in God. Amen. In Psalms 34, it said, "I will bless the Lord at all times; His praise shall continually be in my mouth." Thank God to have our a praise for him continually. That means in the good times, in the bad times, when you're up or when you're down, when you're feeling like it, when you don't feel like it, you fill your mouth with praise, for God is worthy. He's worthy to be praised, to give glory and honor, thanksgiving unto him, because he's able. He's able. I know he's able. I know my God is able for to carry me through. And he, I know he will carry you through. Yeah. If you'll let him carry you, he'll carry you. Amen. If you'll follow him, he'll lead you. Yeah. If you be with him, he'll be with you. Thank God. Woo, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. Yeah. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. That's 34 and 2, Michael. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. We don't boast about ourselves. We don't boast about men, but we boast. You can boast and brag on God and be humble. When somebody boasts and brag on themselves, they become exalted and proud. But my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My God can do anything. My God is great. He's mighty. He has all power. My God loves me. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's my king. He said, you're my friend and you're my brother, even though you are a king. Woo, thank uh, God to have him yeah. in our midst and so close to us. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Yeah. When, when, you're, uh, when you uh, have the spirit of uh, being humble and you hear somebody brag on themselves, it don't make you glad. But you, when you hear them brag about your God, yeah. it brings gladness to your heart. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Isn't that the beauty of it? We don't just exalt it by itself. Uh, God lets us come together and we magnify him. We boast on him. We brag on him. And we exalt his name together. We lift his name up together and trust in him and believing in him. He will never fail you. I sought the Lord, and he heard me. I sought the Lord. Yeah. Seek after him. It's worthy. Seek after him as for hid treasure. I sought the Lord. He heard me. He delivered me from all of my fears. Job said, that that I greatly feared has come upon me. Yeah. What he feared was that his sons would uh, forget God and curse God and, and turn their back on God and come to a point where they uh, they wouldn't trust in the Lord. And he said, that that I feared about my sons, that that I greatly feared has come upon me. Yeah. And his wife said, why don't you curse God and die? Yeah. But he, he held his integrity. Yeah. You know, God's children hold integrity with him. Yeah. He gives us power. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And that's a power to have integrity. In your faith, in your confidence, in your hope, and your trust in God. He said, I sought the Lord, and He heard me. He delivered me from all, all of my fears. 
they looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Look to the Lord. Uh, let his light shine upon you, the glory of God shining in our faces. We look to him as the serpent was lifted up on the pole, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That we behold him, we look to him for help, for deliverance, for strength, for healing, for power in the day that we live in. And we will not be ashamed. God gives us power and strength beyond our own natural ability. Woo, thank the Lord. Just imagine you're not doing it all by yourself. He's in the fray with us. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. Trouble, trouble, trouble everywhere. But God is a problem solver, the troubleshooter. He'll save you out of all the troubles that come your way. When you're in darkness, look to him, and the light of his face will shine upon you. His Holy Spirit will shine upon you. The word of God is, is a, a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. God's word will light, uh, light your pathway. It will shine upon you. So we, we trust in him. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear and reverence and honor him. And he delivers them. Hallelujah. You, you uh, have a problem you can't solve. You have a dark, dark valley you're going through. He's there. He's the light in the valley. Yeah. He's the li lily of the valley. Yeah. He's encamped round about you. Yeah. If you honor him, if you reverence him, if you fear him, if you trust in him, and he will deliver you. Yes, he will. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He's good and very good. Yeah. Blessed is the man. Yeah. Blessed is the man yeah. that trusts us in God. Amen. We trust in Him. Yeah. We believe in Him and we hope yeah. in Him. Amen. Thank God. Yeah. And He will not disappoint you. He will not disappoint you. Oh, fear the Lord, ye His saints, for there is no want to them that fear Him, that honor Him. It's just good to be with God. Good to be with God's children. It's good to be able to worship and fellowship. It's good to be able to fellowship with God and fellowship with God's children. This is a great privilege that God has given us to be able to fellowship with one another and to fellowship with Him. And, and uh, uh, it brings joy to the Lord's heart. I know God is pleased when, when uh, brethren dwell together in unity. It's like the ointment poured out upon Aaron's head that ran down to his beard and to the skirts of his garment. Right. That Holy Ghost was poured out on the day of Pentecost and it's ran down all of these years and now we're at the skirts of the garment mm. and the covering of the Holy Ghost is still yeah, here. Thank God. Yes. We're glad yeah. to have Brother, Brother Jeff and Brother Wren with us tonight. Yeah. Appreciate you all coming. Yeah. They come to help us lift the burden, yeah. uh, carry the load a little bit. Yeah. We... we uh, we need each other. Amen. We need one another yes, uh, to be burden bearers. That's all that we can do. Yeah. But we can't lift. There's a load that we can't lift. But go. I'm telling you about a man that can lift any load. Amen. He carried a cross up Calvary. Yes. He hang on the cross for you and I. Yes. And that precious blood. There's power in the blood. Amen. The precious blood of the Lamb of God saves us. It's not by silver and gold and precious things, but it's by the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen. And that Lamb is the Passover Lamb. Yes, the picture of the Passover Lamb yes. that causes death to pass over yes, you. Yes. Glory! Yes. Trust in Him and believe in Him. God. And yes. death can pass over you. Yes, we have the Word of the Lord. We have confidence. Yes. We have faith in God's Word. We, you can believe it. It'll, it'll lead you, it'll guide you, and it'll give you eternal life. 